Hi everyone, Brett back, how to do scale models, another spur review. My next car build is going to be this Texco History Channel Porsche, or Porsche, depending on if you're posh or not, GT1 Evo, Texco History Channel livery. GT1, revised aerodynamic suspension engine, detail twin turbocharged flat six cylinder engine, lift off rear body, authentic decals, molded in white clear black panel tires. Oh, there's two decal versions. I might end up doing that one, although I do love that decal scheme. I'll probably stick with the black one. But that's nice. Plus, this is an older Ravel kit. Let's see if I can find a date on the box somewhere. 2003, 15 years old. I hear some of you car builders out there, oh, don't build that, Ravel's going out of business. It's going to be worth a lot of money. Don't be a kit collector, be a kit builder. I didn't buy this to let it sit in my stash for 15 years, which of course it has. So, let's see what we got here, starting with the body. I've been inspired by Paul's and Sam's car builds. I built a lot of muscle cars, American muscle cars, but I like what they've been doing. Bagged white Porsche body made in China. Hmm, never seen that before. Okay, so you have to obviously cut this part out. Body looks nice and crisp. Maybe a teeniest little bit of flash that I just picked off right there. Smooth contours and curves. Nice open vents. Good detail. I do not see any seam lines. I mean, there's a line here. I don't know if that's going to pick up. Kinda, right there. And it runs all the way back along here. I have to check my references and see if that's a seam line or an open panel line. Could go either way. A little bit of a seam line right there in front on both of these fenders. Again, the way they run though, it might be to open the panel. Except it runs up there on both. So I'm gonna have to do some research. You can barely see that line right there. I have to do some research. Uh, ejector pin marks here, 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 here. So these, if you're going to open the back panel, have to be cleaned up. These are going to depend on the how much can be seen through the roof. And Here's the bottom panel. Nice rivet detail, no ejector pin marks, no sinkholes. Looks like you might need to, these holes here don't go through all the way, so they're probably for the roll bar. But yeah, looks nice. Nice rivet detail. Yeah, I can see much under these cars anyway. They're made to be aerodynamic, so nice smooth finish. A big graphic style bag of plastic. This is actually a lot of plastic for an automobile. Oh, look at there. All these bags. Unlike Airfix, are individually bagged. Another little made in China thing. So, one, two, three, clear, four, five, colored, six, seven, seven white, one gold, one silver, one clear. Hmm. I wonder if this kit was done by somebody else and reboxed by Rebel, Ravel. I 
it didn't fall off those are separate parts door panels engine parts uh, either the front or rear it's got to be front because there's radiator detail in there so I'm guessing that's this part right here there's like radiator detail in there very nice I think this is part of the seat back firewall or uh, might be the back panel but since it's rear engine, it'd be the firewall as well. But nice, crisp detail. Typical Revell car detail. I'm not sure what these parts are for, but they're parts 16 and 15. And this looks like engine parts. Okay, two sprues in here. Suspension. I'm thinking it's probably the, I want to say transmission, but I'm not 100% sure. Tiniest little bit of flash right there. Exhaust parts that are one piece with hollowed out ends. Hoses. Tank of some sort. Looks like an oil cooler here. Those look like suspension parts and more exhaust parts. Again, good detail. Everything you would want in a racing kit. This looks like the top of the engine, bottom of the engine. There's the headers. There's the pulley system where the water pump would be. These almost look like in carburetors or injectors. I don't know much about Porsche turbocharged flat six cylinders, but I do know some stuff about Revell car kits, and they've always got good engine detail, especially anything after the late 80s. And these look like interior parts, brakes, dashboard, suspension parts. So two more sprues in here. Oh, I completely missed. Put on the wrong side of the heat seal. This is some crinkly, noisy plastic. Sorry, when I edit it, I'll please turn it down. Slotted brakes. Very good de detail for the bolt heads and the brake calipers. Very finely, looks like a tie rod. Steering wheel, racing seat, dashboard. No, it looks like another part of the dashboard switches and such. But yeah, the detail on this sprue, the detail on those brakes, both sides of those brakes. And again, you see these got some slots in them here on both sides. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be slotted or drilled. But we'll check our references. I don't think the picture really shows. More suspension interior parts. There's some shocks. Looks like a sway bar. Like I said, I don't know as much about my European cars. This is copyright 1999 Revell, so it's not another company's kit right there. 1999 Ravel, so it's even older than the boxing. The boxing must be a reboxing. And, uh, I'm looking at the box now, and it says Ravel monogram distributed by Ravel AG, which is Ravel Germany. So this was probably done by Ravel Germany first, and then reboxed by Ravel America. In my opinion, Orville Germany always made nicer kits. But anyway, I think this is part of the front end. And there's where the shocks go. Nice detail on the shocks and the springs. 
and then very finely detailed little parts. I don't see any real burring, I hope, like that. It'll help, but windshield wipers. Be careful cutting off this attachment point ejector pin right here. I haven't seen any real ejector pins in a problematic place either. This bag also has two screws in it. Something little flashlight fell off. Radiator, pedals, some more springs, some more parts of the roll cage. Uh, it's either stiffening for the suspension or something for the engine. I'm big guess for the engine bay. These are the steering parts for the front end and I, I used to know what those were called. But they're good, good detail on both sides. Same with the roll bar parts, these other suspension parts. There's your pedals. Again, these are a couple of hoses for something. Probably cooling. There's your more part of a cooling system. And the last white sprue has the rear end with the wing molded in. No, that's not the wing molded in, but it is the rear end, right? Yeah, it looks like a dual wing setup. This is the rear end with this wing, then you have a top wing. So you've got this bottom wing, which is this one, and then this top wing, which is this one. And there's the end supports for it. Might have the tiniest sink mark right there from here. But the rear end looks really nice. So, oh, so far I'm thinking that's really good. So, the box shows black wheels, unless you're doing the white one. The white one's got gold wheels. Black one has black wheels. Those look really nice. And of course I'm going to do the black ones, so I'm going to paint it black, but the tires look really nice. I mean, there's a slight seam line in them. But you'd want to put some wear on the tires anyway. Very nice rubber feel. Very flexible. I like how they did that. So there's your gold parts in your tires. This one headlights and something else in here there you go, some chrome for the mirrors which is unusual for a Ravel kit there are the headlight parts and the poly caps it's almost like a Tamiya kit in some ways Tamiya would have had more colored plastic than this but it is almost like a Tamiya quality kit. And the windshield and other clear parts shouldn't be too bad. The bell usually makes good clear auto part, auto glass. And it's a little scuffed. Probably going to need a polish. I don't know if you can see the scuff. Right there. It is clear. And the headlight covers have got some nice detail to them. So you can paint the turn signals. Actually, according to the box, they're still just clear. And around the side glass where you're going to need to do the black. Same around here. It's got a good edge for you to put the black in. And the taillights. Nicely detailed. Ridged. Good clear parts. I'm going to stick them back in the bag. So, decals. This came with two sheets of decals. Print them. Ooh, cartograph decals. Even after all these years, these will probably be really good. They look good. 
there's no cracking. I'm probably going to put in aftermarket seat belts. But printed by Cartograph. And look, they look really good. All around, clear. The white's right. Texco orange is orange. And then these are the bonus decals, which say printed in Italy, which generally means Cartograph. These are also very nice. Now it makes me want to find another one of these kits. Just so I can do both sets of decals. Now I'm looking at this set. It's got sponsorship decals, but it doesn't have tire decals. This one has tire decals on it, Michelin. And they actually say Michelin. Drivers names. This is a much more comprehensive decal sheet, that's for sure. See, now I'm confused. See, and these say 1999, and then these say 2002. So I'm thinking these were the original decals, the original kit, and then when they re-released it, they put these in. Either way, these are really nice decals, both sets. Ravel instructions, typical Ravel automotive instructions. Zoom out a little bit. Put all the plastic bags out the way. Here's a little bit about the car. You're going to have to pause it if you want to read it. There's the color call outs. All it does is say the colors, it doesn't say any modeling companies, which is nice. And of course you start with the engine, so that was a transaxle that we were talking about earlier. There's all the engine parts. Engine parts, suspension arms, all the other suspension supports going onto the engine. More parts, air intakes. The jack, it's actually got the jack in it that goes in the back. The turbo intakes, which is what those hoses were for, turbo valves, the twin turbos. Your pulleys, your support braces, the engine takes up quite a few steps. Then you're adding more suspension to it, sticking it in the front part, the front suspension onto the frame, or the bottom plate, it's not really a frame. Got some decals for the seats as we showed you, front end, seats going in, engine going in, roll bar going in, door panels, wheels which we already saw. So this is obviously for the white one because this is paint the shade area gold, did not say anything about the black. Hinged for the hood deck. Uh, paint shaded area flat back around the windshields like we talked about. Scoop inserts, hood scoop insert. Now some of the decals are only for the 97 Le Mans Porsche, which is the white one. Side windows, it tells you details only for the 97 had gloss white A pillars and windshield header area. They're flat back on the 26 car. Mirrors flat black, then the wing going together. Putting the engine cover over the back. And your two decal schemes. Texco History Channel, black car, wheels blacked with polished rims. So you paint the inside black and then the outside is aluminum. This one you already know they're going to be the gold wheels. So two schemes. I was trying to decide which car to build next because I just finished my 69 Firebird and like I said Paul and Sam have been doing some great jobs with race cars so I wanted to give one a go myself and I'm going with this one. Now I'm opening and I'm glad I did because it looks really beautiful. So stay tuned. I'll probably post some build videos along the way. I won't be starting until next week. I'm in the final stages of the Bearcat already. But thanks for watching everybody. And remember don't be a kid collector. This kit's almost 20 years old now. 
and it's getting built. And with Ravel going out of business, there may never be another one of these again. But that's okay. It'll be on my shelf. Look how nice those are. I'm going to have to see if I can find another one so I can do both cars. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this review. Have a great day.